empty shelves. Why some say the government is taking your ammunition. All new tonight, a story that impacts thousands of gun owners here in Georgia, as well as millions across the country. The shortage of ammo. 11 Alive's Keith Whitney has been looking into the story and joins us now with more for us. Keith? Yeah, Brenda, you know the shortage is real and it is spreading. For example, a little box of 22s like this used to cost two, three bucks. Now it can be five to ten dollars. That's if you can find them. From gun shops to gun shows, customers have had one burning question for weeks. Where has all the ammo gone? Stockpiles are empty and what's left can cost a small fortune that many are willing to pay. At Georgia Range and Guns in Forest Park, the brass on the floor might as well be gold. It's just as rare to get your hands on, and the price is through the roof. We're seeing it on ammo that normally wouldn't be an issue, like 22s, which have never had shortages in the past. We're seeing it with shotgun ammunitions. We're seeing it with the hang, regular handgun ammunitions that are not of great supply. Indeed, when the shelves look like this, it's all they can do to keep enough ammo on hand just to sell for the range. The story is the same all over the country. It's my opinion that, that the gun owners are doing it to themselves. We're, we did the same thing when Barack Obama was, was elected president. We, there was a big run on ammunition, there was a big run on guns because everybody thought that we were going to lose everything. And I think the same thing has happened now to some degree. Cheaper bullets can cost about a nickel a round versus 50 cents or more. But now both are in short supply. And it's not just civilians buying all they can get. It's the government as well, buying hundreds of millions of rounds. At the very same time, there's also a lot of supply issues with government orders for various departments and entities that are trying to get their orders in for their yearly allotments for their agents to qualify. Meanwhile, anything at all connected to guns is flying off the shelf, especially, of course, the guns themselves. All of it triggered by the mere threat of gun control legislation. Last time it happened, it took almost a year to stabilize the market. This time, some believe it could be much longer. Keith Whitney, 11 Live News tonight.